hard working, sir. I can work without supervision and under pressure. It's all right. Your CV also says you pursue to imbibe positive impact into the organization. Yes, sir. It's all right. All I can say is congratulations, Miss Rebecca. You have the job. Thank you very much, sir. I am very grateful, sir. I promise I won't let you down. Adam, I beg, give me no dues. I beg. Salas, I beg, no, I need to give them for you anything. I want to send me back to my village. All the credit, I don't do sell them for you. How many, I don't pay me back. Adam, please, 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 don't insult me. I have a job, man, in case you are not up to date. Let me bring you up to speed. Nonsense. I beg, keep your no dues. Rebecca! Rebecca! Sir, you called me. What's the meaning of this nonsense you wrote here? So you can't write a simple business proposal? What cause did you say you studied again? Business administration, sir. And you cannot write... Take a look. Some of the sentences are not even grammatically correct. Let alone the spelling. What is this? Sir, it's not my fault, sir. Really? So it's my fault because I gave you a job? No. No, sir. That's not what I mean, sir. And please, what do you mean? Sir, throughout my years in school, there was always strike. There was never a year we had a full semester without going on strike. And most times, when we come back to school, many of the things I have learned had left my head. And the lecturers too were not helping matters. I discovered that a good number of you have not bought my textbooks. Hmm, I laugh at you all. That textbook alone is 30 marks. And the class rep also informed me that some of you have not submitted your assignments. Yes? Sir, I submitted my assignment, but the class rep refused to accept it. Shut your mouth there. Did you pay for it? Don't you know that you have to pay him before he can accept the assignment from you? In our previous class, I stated the amount that you have to pay for your assignment. If you are not aware, ask someone sitting close to you. Now, let me make myself clear. My assignment is 15 marks. And for your own good, I am giving you hints to pass my course now. If you like, go and call a professor from Oxford University to come and write your exams for you. If you don't buy my textbook and pay for my assignment, no matter what you write, just expect F9. Sometimes, after we finish writing exams, the lecturers will come and post fake results on the notice board so that the students will go and sort them. Excuse me? What do you mean by fake result and what is sort? What I mean by fake results is that they will give everybody F9, then the students will go and meet them. When you get to the lecturer's office, he will tell you to sort yourself. That is, to pay for the course so that he can pass you. Wow. Yes, sir. Then after a good number of students have paid them, they would come and remove the fake results and paste the real ones. For real? In Nigeria? Yes, sir. So you got to a stage that many students don't want to study again. Since after killing yourself to read, and when you write the exams, the lecturer will still collect money from you to pass the course. In fact, during our final year exams, in a class of 215 students, it was only 8 of us that were going for ninth class. And if you ask the rest why they were not studying, they will tell you there was no need, since they would pay the lecturer to pass the course. Oh my God, what has bad governance and bad leadership cost our universities?